Critics Corner, where critics are the star. I've gotten taller. Oh, yeah, I need to stay in the back, I guess. Hold on. Welcome to the Critics Corner. My name is Noah Wise, and today we are starting all over again. Um, so the last episode of the Critics Corner that you saw on my other channel, that was just the preview of what will happen. I filmed that, um, like, nearly a month, um, before it uploaded, so, no, I, I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> so, um, welcome to the Critics Corner Season 1, Episode 1. I'm excited, you know? So, okay. So, a lot of people have been talking about Call of Duty Ghosts lately, and I one, am a big fan. But, I mean, like, I was going to go for Battlefield 4, but now I want to go for Call of Duty Ghosts. I've played a lot of it, and it's really fun. So, I take back my whole saying back there. It judged me wrong. It's a great game, and Xbox One I'm getting. I'm not going to stick with the PS4. I heard, like, it freezes a lot. You can't play PS3 games, so, you know, it's, uh... It sucks. Okay. Movies, movies, movies. Bad Grandpa has been getting a lot of hype. I haven't seen it yet. I want to see it. But there's just some uh, of the original Jackass um, appearance that um, it doesn't really surprise me that they couldn't make four. So they made a, another one with Bad Grandpa. I mean, like, Johnny Knoxville, you know, always plays the best roles in anything. And... The only roles he's had was when he was getting hurt, which is funny. So, or, so you know, it's uh, yeah, it's kind of unpredictable to see, really. So, um, yeah. All right, I know on the critics' corner. Um, welcome. This is gonna be a new segment that I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm gonna make a show later on, but until Monday when I do the Critics Corner, uh, Tuesday, sorry, when I do it, um, uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be after my appearance. So, well, this is, uh, huh. <gasps> I don't know. 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 Um, well, the show's coming out is Raw Rampage, which is all about WWE, um, show called Monday Night Raw. I'm a big fan of it. And, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. WWE Spotlight. Boom! So, this is a new segment called WWE Spotlight. I basically talk anything that's on my mind of what I might think and what might happen. Alright. <laughs> If you guys want to, if you guys are WWE fans and you want to check out a really cool show, go and go on the search page, which is up there. Go, go, right now. Okay, you're up there? Alright. Type in, or whatever, and type in Ringside or Riot. It's a really good show. Um, it talks about um, any WWE, Raw, SmackDown, and even TNA, which is, you know, a really good show to me. And also talks about Total DOS. And they answer questions that you probably will not ever find out. Well, that you've been wondering, but I always wanted answered, and boom, answered. Um, I've asked over like 300 questions, and they haven't even answered one. But yeah. Oh yeah. Good for spotlight. Um, I want you guys to go in the description and ask questions, and hopefully you can answer them in my own perspective. And, um... Yeah, <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty fun. So, um, Total Divas I saw for the first time since Sunday. And a uh, new episode's coming out tomorrow. So that's always fun. Um, but, you know, when we were, we left off with uh, Cena losing the title. Um, he has the elbow thing, so he's gone for six months. Well... Well, really? He came back at Hell in a Cell. That's only like two months. Oh, well. John Cena's tough, and he deserves that World Heavyweight Championship that he got from Alberto Del Rio. It's been a long time coming since he's won the World Heavyweight Championship. And, uh, 
you know, people are upset because it's like Cena was always the face of the WWE. It's like, yeah. But Randy Orton's on Raw controlling it. And Cena's on SmackDown controlling it. So hopefully we can get a champion versus champion championship match. John Cena has never been has never held multi titles before. Except for the time where he had the WWE Championship and the Tag Team Championship, but nothing, anything else much. Um, but there was other um, Randy Orton titles that he's held more than one. Um, <clears throat> both Tag Team titles. Um, he's held the World Heavyweight Championship for a while, and then he held the WWE Championship. And he also held the Intercontinental Championship when he was Tag Team Champion. So that's something that not a lot of people really remember from Randy Orton is it's he got it in his um uh in his like legend killer mode. Uh, yeah, during that era of Randy Orton. See I got a poster in the back right there. Randy Orton. Um but necessarily I am a CM Punk fan. During Royal Rampage, I'm gonna be wearing this necklace. Oh, look, you can see yourself. And I'm going to be wearing these wristbands. These wristbands. Yay! So, you know, I'm going to be wearing that during the Raw Rampage. And then, these are WWE legendary cards that I've collected over the past few months. And, uh,. These are exclusive cards, um, you know, Andre the Giant, um, um, The Rock exclusive card that I got from, uh, from Topps when I won contest, you know, Terry Funk, you know, ECW, uh, ECW, you know, Hardcore. You know, and then you got uh, Seth Rollins from The Shield. I got that uh, when I went to um, when I went to Raw when it came to Sacramento on, in August. And then you know, I got the SmackDown card, WrestleMania. When he, I don't know who he faced, but you can easily tell it's WrestleMania because in the background. Um, this was uh, a few years ago. When he faced 2012, 20-0. This was, uh, this was, uh, Triple H and The Undertaker. <coughs> First time going. Not the hell in the fall. And then you got Greg the Hammer Valentine. So, yeah, those are just examples. I got uh, the ones like Ezekiel Jackson. Paul Heyman signed. And then, you know, JTG, David Utunga, you know, stuff like that. Booker T, I think, at the top. And then they got, you know, stupid cards like Honeycomb or whatever. I call them Honeycomb. Then it's not the same. And then you got, then we got the Bushwhackers. The, this was before D-Generation X. These were the main tag team next to the Road Warriors. And then, you know, Antonio Cesaro. Antonio Cesaro. Wow, that, that guy can fight. That guy can. And then, you know, I got R-Truth. My mom, when she went to L.A., she didn't know that WWE was... Oh, my God, it fell. I'm so sorry, don't hate me. Oh, my stamp fell. Okay. All right, that's good. Oh, it's actually better because of the lighting. Look at my little trophy. Oh, hi, pumpkin. I see you, pumpkin. Okay. So those were just examples. If you guys want to win these cards or a card, then um, go in the description and put in fan favorite. If you put in fan favorite, and if I and then you you have to put fan favorite and then like skip a few lines and then write something totally out of random. And if I pick you, then I'm gonna go on your channel, comment on one of the recent videos that you have posted. And if you haven't posted a video, then, uh, I don't know. Then, uh, 
then I'll just pick someone else. You have to have at least one video on your channel so I can comment on it and say that you are the fan favorite. Last week's fan favorite um, of the regular Noah's channel, I'm going to have a fan fan of the week, um, was Vincent Rom Romeo, or Romero, or Romo. I, I don't know. Sorry I misspelled it. Sorry I misspelled your name. But you are today's fan. You are this week's fan of the week. I pick a fan of the week every Saturday. So that means you were a fan of the whole entire week. And on Sunday, you know, if, uh, Sunday's a big, <laughs> big day. A lot of stuff is happening Sunday. Um, like in uh, NASCAR, Jimmy Johnson could win his sixth Sprint Cup. And I am a huge Jimmy Johnson fan. So, hopefully he wins. Hopefully he could beat Matt Kenseth, who's like 27 points behind him. I just hope he wins. All right, wow, this video's been going on for a really long time. So if you want to be, you know, fan of, fan of the week, then and you want to win, you know, these cards. If you want to win a card, I'll sign the back. Yeah, I'll sign like in the top corner where like it doesn't say all this info. If you want the info, I don't think you would like the info. So those are the cards that I got. I got I got a lot of legendary cards in there. One car, my, like, three cars my friend gave me when you went to WrestleMania, um, when, uh, when it came, when I went to Arizona, because he was in Arizona, and, you know, Fan Access was there, and it was free, so he went, and he met some people, and got some, got some cards, so. So guys, that's about it. Um, thank you for tuning in for episode one of season one for the Credits Corner. This was such a success. See you guys later.